So here we have Renault Dacia Logan with bad back shock. So I'll jack up the car, untie the shock, the wheel, and we'll see the procedure that is needed to do the separations. These are pretty common cars here in Europe. And we have pretty bad roads here in Ukraine. So it's common operation. So I use my two-ton garage jack. If you don't have one of those, get yourself one. It's very simplify your living because it's very simple. Just let's go high. If you tie and then you have jack stand. Also to tone with security pin. If you don't know about security pins, go ahead and search on YouTube how car falls from this because you could accidentally hit this lever, not with security pin. So I'll proceed with my work to remove the wheel. The bolt. As you can see, the shock is covered with mud. That means it's leaking. You can see it's wet right here. We'll need to untie this part and this one. Then we'll replace it with a new shock. Okay, I have another shock. I'm using such on my cars. So it has specific not on the top where you're supposed to hold the top portion of shock with pliers and untie the knot with 16 millimeter wrench there is a flap in your trunk That you need to undo, there is a clip. It was broken in my case. And there is not and trusted out part. So I'll untie this and we'll continue. Actually untie you need to hold the top and move the bottom. That's how it works. So when I tied and dropped, so now I remove this part washer and I trying to remove this rubber ring but it's seized so I'll leave in place it's in good shape let's go see what's underneath and here on the knees you see the shock piece of junk another washer yeah it's flat it's just flopping okay next part of this process uh, will be to replace the bottom one it's 18 millimeter socket it's pretty easy if your car is not rusted junk. Okay, let's answer some questions. First of all, why don't you use original parts? Answer is you have to uh, order them and wait for them. I have this such shock delivered to me in like four days, custom order. And this Renault is uh, not available on a dealer. And that's also answer to the second question. Why are you doing it yourself? Because to replace it in uh, service, I need to go to Kiev and it's two hour drive because uh, there's checkpoints and uh, all of them take time. 
so it's easier for me to just swap it myself than spend four hours driving to the service and pay some money even if it's a minimal amount so good parts is cleaned and I'll continue reassemble so Nishoka is placed in place <laughs> placed in place and top and the bottom uh, none of the balls is tightened yet on the bottom you're supposed to go 108 million meters on the top 14 so before you need to do this you loosely tighten all of that you had to install your wheel back remove jacks and stand jack stands and place your car on the wheel so it will level itself then you have to tighten this bolt so silent block inside of it will be uh, under great tension proper tension in proper position many times your bolts will bolts look like that and you need to clean them up with wire brush prior to uninstalling on the wheel so they hold longer and be tighter and there is no goo inside of your braking drum you know my english is bad right leave your thoughts on the comments which terms i said incorrectly and where and god bless you